Welcome to Tightrim's Loose Limbs. We're at Black Lemoore's in beautiful Brighton. I'm here with Paul. Paul, thank you so much for having You're us in your well. shop, man. We were here last night. Um, we did some upper body stuff with Paul. Um, Paul's got some stuff I'm gonna speak for you just for a second. Paul's got some stuff with his back that's been bothering him for a long time. Um, we address, uh, well, he's got, he's been addressing it for, how long have you been addressing it? You've been talking, you've been seeing somebody to help you with it for, yeah, for a, a while? Month. Yeah. A month, so that's great. So he's already on the road for uh, the recovery process of it, like allowing the lower back to be treated, taken care of, which is excellent. Um, what we're looking for is to find assistance from the rest of his body to uh, take over for what the lower back has been doing for a long time. So that's essentially what the work is. The Tight Trims Loose Slims stuff is just specific to the barber world. So um, specific meaning that we're gonna try to use a barber chair uh, and use the tools that we have in the barber shop so we keep it as simple as possible for the barbers that are doing this work. Um, this is cool, but this is not necessary. This is the same as this. It's just this kind of sucks a little bit more because it's not as forgiving as this thing. So, But I do encourage you to use whatever you, you have in the shop. Um, some people use, uh, like they have like the brushes like yep. and, they, and they have the bottom of the brush. It's like you can use anything you want. But for today, because we're here and because Paul, we were using this yesterday, we're gonna stay in, in we're gonna stay with the, with, the, with the ball just because it felt like necessary from the, the work that we did yesterday. So, while I'm doing this, Paul's gonna be, I'm assuming Paul's gonna be doing some nice deep breathing. The stomach is relaxed as much as possible. Hands on the stomach, both hands, right? The jaw is relaxed. What happens because we're in a barber shop and because there's action happening in the barber shop, it's hard sometimes to surrender to like personal work when you're in, especially in, an, in a shop that you have to take care of things, right? So this is your world in here. There's always these things that you need to take care of. So I would, I would, I would consider doing it for anybody else that, that understands that um, and the vulnerability of like being in a place where you have to do a lot of different things and not just focus on you because the tendency is to take care of everything else before taking care of yourself. And this is why we're doing this work because we're bringing it back to self-love, all right? It's always coming back to taking care of you. But I would suggest, the sort of suggestion I'm making is that you do the work before everyone comes in here or you do the work after the day is done or just find a moment by yourself somewhere else or turn your chair around where it, no one can even see you and just do a couple things. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is Paul's gonna check again his guts. We did the gut check yesterday, all right, but he's gonna start with just one side, all right? So one side checking, all right? If he's not sure, he can bring both hands to the stomach and just breathe. If one side is breathing higher than the other, all right, that typically means that that side has more recovery. Oxygen's going a little bit easier into that, into that area, right? If the other side's getting stuck, it's because it's working really hard. So what I'm gonna suggest is to find the spot that feels soft, all right? And I can poke around here too, keep breathing. All right, yeah, you can feel this is tough over here, and this is nice and soft, perfect. So this is gonna be the side that Paul is gonna find a spot around the rib cage, all right? So his rib cage is right here. It's gonna go, he's gonna go basically like a shelf. He's gonna go around the rib cage and try to find the softest spot. The jaw needs to be open and relaxed. It's really important. If you close this up, there's gonna be very little attention when you're, when you're trying to bring tension back into another place, right? So it's important for right now the breathing to be deep, all right, and I can do this work right now because Paul's, Paul's in my, my hands here. We're gonna find a spot and you're just gonna keep the jaw relaxed. We're gonna find this, this is a good soft spot. All right, <laughs> all right, dude, you're doing great, keep breathing. All right, good. So what I'm looking for right now is I'm gonna make sure that the, that the breathing is deep in the, in the lower body, the lower part of the body because that's what we're gonna focus on today. The stomach is gonna rise, the jaw is gonna relax. Good, Paul's in, in business mode right now. You can hear it. he wants to take care of some other things. All right, it's all good. So right now the breathing is gonna hopefully bring him back to the attention of himself. The shop can handle itself right now. All right, these guys got it. You've got you, They're taking care of you right now. All right, and I'm going around exploring the, the rib cage because I wanna make sure that we're gonna get as much movement in this area as we can. All right, good. Remember, soft tissue. I don't want. I don't want anyone having a six pack for this. I want the softest stomach possible. If your gut's hanging over your over, it's perfect because that means we can get in there and we can start cleaning stuff up. If you're bracing yourself and you're tight and you're tense, it's not going to be healing at all. The healing work is where it's soft. See, this stuff is jammed up in here. All right, we want to find it there. This is a nice soft spot right there. Okay, breathe. Good. You got to explore. Beautiful. Right, and in fact, man, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna get you to scoot forward a little bit more. I'm gonna bring this up, and you're gonna kick your chair back a little bit so we can actually 
You can kick your chair back. How do you do that? Right here? You do that. Leave, leave it to the barbers to do this. Okay, and then lean back. Get your head back up on there. All right, and really relax. Okay, good. Because when he's folded forward, it's a little bit harder to get in there. Good. All right, we're going to do about five minutes of gut check before anything, because this is going to right there. Feel that spot? It's a good spot right there. Breathe. Good. And I'm, I'm going to put that right there. And I'm getting low. Breathing. Breathing. Good. Keep that going. Excellent. We're going to go further and further down. So we're trying to go down to the, the next shelf after this is going to be in that pelvic region. All right. So around the hips. All right. There's going to be a next, the next bony shelf is the one we're going to be exploring around. But right now I'm going in between the rib cage. I'm going in between that pelvic. And if there's any area that's too much, man, you say the word, okay? Because sometimes stuff is going to come up, guys. Yesterday we're doing some work in the, in, at the shop, and our, our dude James started getting dizzy, and that's also as a result of flooding. So, so tension flooding out of the system, old junk just exiting the system, and that takes sometimes a lot of, a lot of energy, and the body doesn't know what to do with it, especially he's been hustling all, you guys have been hustling all day, doing the work. Right, which is cutting hair, taking care of other people, and then all of a sudden you're, you're, you're asking your body to release that tension. Sometimes that takes a lot of energy for your body to do that, so don't be surprised if some of you guys feel a little nauseous doing this. Good, there's a little junky spot. I don't wanna go there, I wanna go and support it, right? Breathe, but that spot probably felt pretty familiar. As soon as I touched it, it was probably like, oh, that's, yeah, go there, go there. We don't wanna go to those spots. We wanna go to the spots that are soft, and if we get a bit of a, a pulse, we're in good hands. So basic rules to follow. We're not irritating any tissue, we're stimulating. We're looking for a little vibration, meaning we got a little connection happening. All right, and we're making sure that we're always gonna be focusing on deep breathing. We're not trying to create pain in the body, we're trying to create healing and recovery. All right, so this is not a plan, this is not the pain game, this is not, a, this is not about, about punishment. All right, working 10 plus hours, that's punishment. All right, let's be clear on that. It's fun to know you can do that, it's awesome to make money and to be serving people, but you gotta find the time in there to, to take care of yourself. Because we know if you're not taking care of yourself, you start burning out, all right? And unfortunately, when you're in pain, when your body's in pain, even if you're not paying attention to the pain, you don't know it's there, the ones around you are gonna be feeling the pain. All right, it's that simple. The ones closest to you, the ones that are working with you all the time, all right, things, tension starts coming up. All right, good, we're having, this is great. And I wanna see if this is softening up a little bit. All right, that felt like, that, this feels way better, right? You can celebrate that, that's good. Okay, good. So next, you're gonna stay there. The first check we're gonna do is we're gonna check in the hips, all right? So you're gonna bring, because I wanna focus on, on, on one side softening up and one side, you know, um, one side recovering, so we're trying to get the, the side that's like that's tight and jammed up. All right, and I'm just checking tissue right now. This feels pretty good. This feels a little tighter, a little tougher. Let's bring this knee up towards your chest just to see how it moves without using your upper body. Bring it up. Okay, good, right there until your lower back starts coming up. This one, how's this one moving? Good. If we're not sure, I'll just put my hand here, and this is, would be Paul's hands here. Bring it up. Which one touches? Okay, that one's having a hard time touching, and bring this one up. That one's touching a little bit easier, okay? So this one's moving a little bit better. This one's not moving quite as well, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that ball. Paul, you're gonna, you're gonna lift your bum up and you're gonna sit, you're gonna lift your bum up and you're gonna put that ball underneath your bum, all right? If you have anything in your back pocket, get it out of there. Good, all right, so what Paul's gonna do, he's gonna bring this, yeah, there we go. Clean the pockets. <laughs> oh, you had so many things in the pockets, man. That's good. All right, I'm so we're going, okay, so where we're going, we're going right his butt, so it's gotta be like lower, not the lower back, not the thigh, but somewhere in between, so your butt, your butt. All right, so what's Paul looking for right now? He's looking for the spot that feels the softest, that the ball's sinking in the most, but that's got a little vibration going. If he's having a hard time because the barber chair is too soft and the ball's sinking in there, just use your knuckles, we're good? Okay, he's got a good spot. All right, so what's he's gonna do, what he's gonna do right now, because he's sitting on this side, he's gonna bring his knee in as close as he can. Right, all the way in, all the way in, good. And then all the way out and keep the breathing going, the soft gut, all the way, full extension, even if you have to move that uppercut display, bring it all the way up. That's right, I give an uppercut, an uppercut shout out, okay, because we're here. Uppercut shout out, and then all the way down. It's here in the shop, and those guys are cool. Good, all the way up again, right there. Okay, he's got a good vibration going. So now what Paul's gonna do, he's gonna bring the heel in towards him, and the heel out away from him. 
All the way, brother. All the way. We're trying to find that vibration right there. You got that good vibration. In again. In again. Nope. In towards the other leg. All right, it's that windshield wiper style. And then all the way out again. All the way. All the way. Right there. Good, good. And then last one. All the way in. <laughs> and then all the way up. Breathe. And I love that your jaws relax. Good. And then drop it down. Get the ball out of there. And let's check. All right? We do a basic check again. All right, you keep the ball right where it is. Okay. Bring the knee in. Good, bring the other knee in. Okay, this one's still moving pretty well. Bring it back down again. Let's check this one. We might, have, we might not have done our job just yet. Okay, this one's still struggling, all right? Not a big deal. Let's check why it's struggling, all right? Bring the feet, to, so come forward to the bench a little bit more. Come forward, come forward, come forward right there. Bring your feet together, all right? And just right now we have the wall, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist you just a little bit. We're gonna open the legs, we're keeping the feet together. So open them up as much as possible. Open, open. I wanna see which why it's struggling. Okay, so. Let's clean up the inside over here, all right? So lean back again, all right? Bring yourself forward a bit more. So now what Paul's gonna do is we're gonna check in the hip right now. We're gonna check right in this spot right here, okay? This is feeling nice and soft, so this is good. So we're always looking for the next soft tissue. If Paul's doing this work, he would go and explore. He'd be like, okay, this is a nice soft spot right here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna basically bring your feet together again, good? And then just let this leg drop open. Open, good, and then bring it back in. Just that one leg, we're gonna focus on that one leg, releasing all the way in, out again, all the way, all the way, further, further, good, and then all the way back in. He's gonna raise that knee up again, slowly, good. Good, right there. He's gonna bring it out to the side. Okay, and why are we going out to that place? Yeah, good, right there, and then drop it down again, do the circles, all right? So bring it up, we're drawing those boxes, all the way up, all the way out, all the way back down and then break. Good, we're gonna check. Now side, okay, side of the bum now. All right, so we're just gonna go around the area and, be, and keep checking for tissue, tissue, tissue. So he's gonna feel around and see what the soft spot is. He's gonna grab that ball and he's gonna put it on the side of his butt. All we're gonna do is, because we just did a basic check, which leg is moving better than the other one, and then we're gonna try to find the softest tissue and explore that. So if you're on the side of your butt, you have to turn your body over gently all right, without dumping to your lower back. So you find a spot, all right, and that spot's gonna be that vibration. So move a little bit more. We're gonna feel it right, a little bit more. Turn your body a little, right there, it's good. Okay, great. Same principles, you're gonna bring your leg all the way out again. All the way out, good as far, that's perfect. All the way in, keep that breathing going. If you're unsure, hand on the stomach. Out again, out again, all the way, all the way. Good, and then bring it back in. Now you're gonna bring the knee up. All the way up, all the way up, all the way up, good. You're gonna straighten this leg out a little bit. You're gonna cross this leg over. I'm not even helping him right now. He's doing all this by himself, good. He's gonna open his leg up, and if the barber chair's in the way, guess what he's gonna do? He's gonna scoot his bum forward a little bit more and then, risk, and then place the ball again on that bump. So scoot your bum forward, right? Scoot it forward, and then line your side, good. And then find that, good, you got a good spot there. I can feel it. his body went into that little jolt, and then open that leg up, Paul. Open that leg up, brother. Let's go all the way, all the way. Good, and then bring it back in. Yeah, man, good, mellow. All the way out, all the way out. Let me get this down. I don't know how to do this, hold on. Oh yeah, right there, okay, lean back. Woo. There we go, it's gotta be cozy. Remember, no attention elsewhere except for this area. That's what we're trying to do, we're trying to isolate. All the way out again, all the way, all the way. Okay, good, all right. Take a deep breath in, you ready for this? Exhale, go further out. Good, all that breathing, those mechanics of breathing are gonna be huge. Inhale again, breathe. Exhale, drop down. Look at that nice movement. Now, take a deep breath in. This hand is placed here. This hand is placed on top. He's gonna create a platform for his leg to push against. I'm burping up my breakfast from this morning. And pull that leg into your hand, go, pull. How hard is Paul gonna pull? That's as hard as he's gonna pull because he's gonna get a little vibration going. If he pulls any higher, harder, guess what's gonna happen? The rest of his body is gonna be throwing itself in there. So pull a little bit more. It's gonna be very clear if he, if he stays to those rules. Now, keep your hands there and push your leg further out, further out. And just so you guys can see how far much, how further out his leg is going, look at that nice release, right? Then he's gonna place his hands again. Good, he's gonna breathe deeper. Don't do anything yet, just breathe. Let that leg sink down even further. Good, one last time, take a deep breath in. Good, and then one more time, he's gonna pull his leg into his hands. Pull, beautiful. Good, man, remember, we should be able to have a conversation while doing this. I don't want Paul to have a conversation right now, but I want to just stay internal with softness. So soft strength, not hard strength. 
All right, and then push away one more time. We'll keep the hands right there and push your leg, push your leg, push your leg, push your leg. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice, look at that. Take a deep breath in again, and then push away again. I'm just keeping the hands right there. He, he, if he was doing the work, he would just relax his hands. He would just go and hold, because he knows he doesn't have to do any more pushing right now, or he, he doesn't know, but now he knows. Look at that. Good, and then release it, slide it off, slide it off. Good, get the ball out of there. All right. <laughs> Move back, we're checking again. All right, so where my arm was about here, rib cage, all right, bring this knee in. Now let's do this one. We'll do this one first because we know this one was moving a little bit better. Good, that one's the first one. The second one, bring it all the, ooh, okay. We did our job. This side is released a little bit more just in this movement. That's fantastic, great. Next, all right, what's next? We're gonna focus, we're gonna assume that like everything down here is moving pretty, pretty well. Like meaning like from here on in, like you saw that movement was going nicely. Like we want to make sure that this move, we're just picking one thing, that knee was coming up and down really nicely. We did our job, we found what the soft tissue was, we targeted it, that released and that got more movement happening, all right? And now that we have more movement here, guess what's gonna move less? The lower back. The stuff in the lower back is gonna allow itself to recover because it doesn't have to do the movement that this wasn't, because this was moving, the lower back was taking over is basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, great. Now we're gonna work below the knee. We did the hip stuff, we just picked our hip thing. Now we're gonna, we're gonna work below the knee. All right, so what does that mean? We're gonna bring this leg up, all right? And we're gonna hold that leg. Yeah, we're not, gonna, so we're not gonna pull that leg in, all right? We're not gonna pull, we're gonna see if we can bring it up as high as we can. And if that is actually a problem, we should probably address that. All right, so let's see, let's see that. Cross this leg over this one. Ooh, that's nice. That looks way better. Cross this leg over this one. Okay, struggling a little bit. Yeah. Shall we address that? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, great. So, soft tissue. Mm, a little tough, feel yeah. that, a little tough. Nice and soft. Yeah. Right, you feel, the, you feel what I'm talking about? So, a yeah. little tough there. We're looking for, this is nice and soft. Guess what we're gonna do? Yes. So Paul's gonna repeat the same thing he did on the other, that he did on the other side with this side. All right, and this is actually gonna be really great for his lower back. All right, really great, jaw. Okay, turn your body towards me until you find that spot. Okay, we got a spot right there. Right there, you felt his body reacted, that's what we're looking for. Good, what's the movement? The movement is gonna be simple. He's gonna keep this leg straight, so, it's, so he's not struggling to bring this, on, but make sure it's resting on the, on, the, on, the, on the foot rest. He's gonna bring this leg up as high as it can, without assistance, without assistance. Perfect, that's as far as we're going. He's gonna scoot forward in the, in the chair, so you might wanna take that ball out. I'm gonna hold the ball so I know it's not gonna move. Right, you might wanna come forward a little bit more, brother, because you know you're gonna be moving a little bit better than this in a second. All right. Oh, that, okay, good. All right, we're gonna have a spot right there. Okay, so Paul is gonna do the same windshield wiper style from side to side, breathing, breathing. Hands on stomach, breathing. Further out. Good, good, one last time, all the way in. All the way in, good, stay right there. Hands, I'll do the work now. Paul can chill. Two, one, Paul's pulling into my arms. Pull into my arms, pull into my arm, right there. Pull, pull, good, don't be good at this, guys. You cannot be good at this work. It's just, we're just now making a connection. Pull a little bit more, brother, pull into my hand. Pull right there, hold that, breathe. His jaw's still nice and soft, keep pulling. Keep pulling, there should be no pain elsewhere. It should just be all about that hip. Good, now push away even further, push. Push, I'm gonna keep my arm right here so you guys can see how much further he's going. All right, we're not making this shit up, it's happening right now, good. Move around that ball again, please, till you find the next spot. Right, are you sure? You sure that's the spot? That's the spot right there. Take a deep breath in and push away, push away. That's nice. Deep breath in again. Push away one more time. Because remember, I haven't, even I haven't seen his hip coming up over here and I've barely felt a little vibration. We've got a little bit more of a vibration happening. Take a deep breath in, push away further. Push away. Right, okay, there. That's when the hip starts coming up. In three, Paul, you ready? Two, one, pull again. Pull, pull. You're gonna have a good day today, man. You're gonna have a good day. Holding less tension in your body, more strength, more connection. Breathe, good, breathe. Keep, you're, going, you're going one more time, man. One more, one more pull. One more pull. Hold that for as long as you can and breathe soft. Breathe soft, right there, and then push away. I stopped it because Paul had given me at least two times where he kind of, kind of hesitated. I'm gonna give him two times max, and then we're gonna keep going. After the two times, meaning like we're gonna keep going further into the stretch, right? But two times of him pushing into me, and at that point, when he was tired and he couldn't do anymore, take a deep breath in again, 
and go further down one more time. Yeah, good, 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 good. One more deep breath in, Paul, and push away as far as you can. Push, good, and then slide off, slide off, slide off. Good, water, 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 water. Temperature, room temperature, water, good. Okay, great, so quick recap. This leg wasn't, well, this leg was originally moving really well, really nicely, this leg wasn't. This leg started moving better than this leg. So then we picked the next movement that wasn't moving as well as that one. All right, we're gonna check again. We're gonna bring this one over this one. So crossing that one over. Sorry, brother. Good, and then bring it back down. And we're just gonna check, how's this one moving? Okay, still struggling a little yeah. bit. Still struggling a little bit. But where's that coming from? I don't know, let's check. Next hard tissue, next soft tissue. All right, so leaning forward, bum. I'm gonna say bum. All right, lift up. So Mike, can we repeat the same thing? Good. Right to the back of the bum. Lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back, lean back till we find that spot. All right, we got it? Good. We're just picking what's the next softest, softest thing. I checked the bum, it was soft enough for me. Great. You okay with this one? Yeah. Good. What's the movement? Knee comes in. Same repeating, moving slowly, all the way in, all the way in. Good. Knee comes all the way out. Leg comes all the way out. All the way out, all the way out, all the way out. Leg comes all the way in. Jaw, jaw, soft breathing. All the way in, Paul. All the way in, all the way in. Good. And then all the way out one more time. Doing great, dude. And then bring it halfway in until you find that real nice vibrate. That's a good spot right there. Good. Heel comes in. Heel comes out. Yeah, man. Heel comes in. Remember, that's the movement we're trying to replicate, right? And then heel comes out. Okay, so now heel comes out. Heel comes out. I'm here, I'm gonna do this work, but if Paul was doing this work on his own, he would just find probably his other leg or another surface or something, or even reach down to grab it, or maybe he would rest it against the chair over here. But for now, out to me, out to me, bring it out to me. Yeah, the knee stays in, the heel comes out, right there, you ready? Take a deep breath in. He's pushing his heel back down into my hand, pushing down. My man, awesome, keep pushing, right? And if his knee was going all over the place, I would clean some stuff down here. But right now, this is good. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Good, and then bring it out to me. Bring it out to me further. Yes, go, 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 go. Right there. Taking a deep breath in. Two, one, and go push. Remember, if he was doing this work on his own, he'd probably find his foot over here. He would lean himself into the bench a little bit more. Find a way to be creative in doing this. Push, push down, push down. Push into my hand, brother. Right there, come on, Paul. Come on, you got this. Keep pushing a little bit more. You're good, no pain. Good, keep pushing, that's important, no pain. Keep pushing, keep pushing, one more time. Right there, and then pull it off me. Pull it off me. Pull as far as you can. Try to get it off my hand. Get it off my hand. Get it off my hand. Further off my hand. Further off my hand. There you go. And then bring it back down. What was coming up? This was season up? This, yeah, this is yeah. This was season up? Yeah, yeah. Guts. All right? All right. We're going to the guts again. All right, we're going to find a spot. All right. So where we were before, sorry, we were on this side before, correct? With the guts, we're going to find the next spot. All right, his, his, so, this is seizing up means I don't want to go in here. I want to go somewhere above that and check that out. All right, relax. Okay, let's find the softest spot. I feel like this is a nice soft spot. Take a deep breath in. Good, and relax, breathe. When I got a pulse, that's when we start doing the work. Inhale, stomach rises please. Stomach rises, yeah, there it is, good. And then relax, release. Good, Paul, you're doing amazing, man. Last one, I wanna feel that stomach rising. Okay, good, we got a good breath in there. So now, I'm gonna hold this, bring it, don't hold your breath, I'm gonna hold the spot, you keep breathing, all right? And now, bring your knee in, up. There you go, man. Bring your leg all the way out, all the way out, all the way out, full, full extension, so strain your leg out on towards the ground, towards the ground, so you're not straining your lower back. Good, gonna find the next soft spot right there, bring your knee in again, and then do that windshield wiper style again, side to side, the one we did before. Right, so the heel comes out to the side, Paul, like you're trying to heel kick or something, I don't know, like a skateboard trick or something, I don't even know. I'm trying to make it relevant to, there you go. Find a spot, I'm gonna find the next soft spot, because all this stuff, take a deep, don't lose your breath. Don't lose your breath. Good, right there is good. In and out, there you go. I'm gonna keep exploring down here. Paul is doing this work, he was doing the same thing. Okay, bring the knee in again. Bring the knee in, bring the knee all the way out and let the leg rest for a second so we can find the next spot. Let your heel rest on the ground. Good, okay. We're going lower, we're going to lower. This is a familiar spot, I don't want to go there. There, I'm going to go here. 
I like that spot. Okay, knee comes in one more time. Heel comes in. Heel comes in towards the other leg. Heel comes out. There you go. Good, better. It feels smoother in here too right now. Yes, good. Don't lose that. Keep that going. All the way. I'm going to find that spot again. Okay, we're going to try one more time. All the way out. Bring the heel all the way out. All the way out. All the way out. All the way out. Take a deep breath in. And then push into me one more time. Push. Push. It's a good sign. There you go. Good. Push one more time. Push. We're just trying to see what's the next spot. Keep pushing. Good. And now pull the heel out further. Pull the heel out towards me. There you go. Good. Keep going. Keep going a little further. Right there. One more deep breath in. We're going to do this one more pass through. One. And go push again. Okay. You feel the strength difference? Keep pushing. Keep pushing. That feels awesome. Keep pushing. Good. The whole barber chair wants to move, which is excellent. Good. And then off my hand. Further off. Further off. Oh, nice. Yep. There it is. Good. Awesome. Rest your head. We're going to let this recover for a second. We're going to let it chill, right? Let it kind of like shake out of it. But all this feels so much better than it did before. Like there's so much blood flowing and heat where when we first started, this was all jammed up. Cross this leg over. Cross this leg over. Okay, nice. Bring it, bring it back down. Let's check this one. Did we do our job? Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Next. We're doing one more, we're doing below right. the knee, and then we're good, right? Yeah. Because it's a lot of work. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, good. Rest your head. All right, so we need that same leg. We're gonna cross this leg over. I don't know why, but I just wanna check the movement of the ankle now. All right, so we're pulling the toes in towards you. Going to bring the toes to the right, to the left. Right, you got a little fuzz on there, good. All right, bring it in. If Paul didn't, wasn't sure, he would just hold his leg like this, like he, he would uncross, uncross, bring his leg up, and then just check like, maybe you can just keep it like nice and right there, and then move the ankle around. Move it in, go to the right, go to the left. Okay, into the left again. Point your toes, go to the left, go to the right. It's moving pretty nicely, mm -hmm. drop it down. Let's check the other one. In, good, to the right. Yeah, to the left, to the right. Okay, that one's struggling a little bit. To the left, go to the right. Point your toes. Go to the left. Go to the right. Okay, struggling a little bit more. Yeah. Right? That right one's struggling a little bit more than that one. Can we agree on that? Yeah, yeah. Great. So, what are we going to do? Straighten your leg up for me. Is this, is this nice and soft? Yeah. Is it softer than this? Drop your leg down. I'm just looking for the move the, from the tissue closest knee. Yeah. Okay, so this is a little tougher. The ball in here, in here. Paul's gonna grab his shin. His he's gonna relax his jaw. He's so where is he gonna start? He's gonna start up here, up here. He's gonna pull it in till he's got that vibration. All right, that's good. That's good enough. And he's gonna move his ankle in the same position. So he's gonna pull it in. He's gonna draw his box going to the left, all the way, all the way right there. He's gonna draw it down going to the left. Good, he's gonna pull it back to the right. Don't lose the perimeter, maybe always go to the edge. Good, going back up, going back up. Beautiful, right there. Go to the left, breathe. Down to the left, down and to the left, down and to the left. Point your toes, point your toes, point your toes, point your toes. Good, down and to the right. Okay, down to the right's looking better. Good, up and to the right. Yeah, dude, good. And then over to the left, as far as you can. Good, and then down to the left. Beautiful, and then release. Release, release. Okay, softer, nice, yeah. awesome. If we want to add some strength into that, which we will, we're gonna cross this whole leg up here so the ankle is resting on, the shin's resting on here. Great. Paul's gonna make sure he can actually reach for this leg. So the, the position that we, were good, we weren't really good at doing, it was pointing and going to the right. Correct? Because you can see the whole knee taking over. Yeah. You felt that? Mm -hmm. You pointed, bring it to the right without the knee, right there. If Paul was doing this work on his own, which I won't, I won't expect him to do it right now, he's going to point and bring it to the, to the right. He's going to place one of his hands here. I'm going to do it for him, all right? So he's, but make sure he's not, he's not reefing on his back, that he's sitting up in his chair a little bit more, but right now he's chilling. He's always going to do is focus on breathing with the heads relaxed, all right? He can look down if he wants to. You're pointing a little bit more because you're getting comfortable. Point it, bring it to the right a little bit more, right there. His hand movement where my hand is, and now he's gonna push his leg going to the left, just his ankle. Push your toes into me. Push your toe, right there. Breathe, push a little bit more, please. Push. And he's gonna pay attention. Is anything else coming up? Maybe not, maybe so. Push, but right now we're gonna assume that we did a lot of the work already in terms of connecting. Keep pushing, keep pushing. 
Good, and then bring it further over to the right. Nice, keep going, beautiful, you're releasing beautifully. Keep going, keep going, right there. One more time, deep breath in, two, one, and pull one more time, just your toes. Think about your little toe pushing into me. Think about your little toes, your, your toes in your shoes opening up and pushing into me. Good, push down, push down. Don't be good at this, man. Take a deep breath in and push into me one more time. There, hold that, hold that. Keep pushing one more time, Paul. Keep that breathing going, keep that connection going. Push, 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 push. Okay, so Paul's signal wasn't strong. It wasn't strong in there, so what does that mean? We're gonna go and explore the tissue around the area and find where the tissue, so right now all the tissue over here is pretty jammed up. This is feeling okay, but the softest stuff is gonna be right in here, okay? So I'm gonna hold that tissue, you got that? And you're gonna do the same box as you did with, with, your, with, your, with, your, with your foot that we did when the ball was underneath your knee. Over to the left. Good, how's that feeling? Probably, it shouldn't, be, it shouldn't be pleasant, ideally when you're doing this work, but it should be connection, all about connection. And we're gonna keep exploring. All right, we're gonna keep exploring there, right there. There's a good spot in there. How's that spot feel to you? Good, I'm gonna keep going down. This is feeling pretty, this is feeling pretty tight over here, so we're not done with that. This is loosening up, which is nice, so I'm gonna go in here now, move it around again. Yeah, there you go. Good, we're cleaning that up. Remember, the minute something releases, go there. Go there and explore it. Right, because it just gave up a little bit of that control. Good, we're gonna keep fluctuating. This should be exhausting work because we're, there you go, now that's cleaning up. You feel that? Yeah, yeah we're making room. All we're doing is bouncing from one side to the other. Good, I love the analogy of the X. Not because I'm straight edge, but because I love the, the way the body overcompensates going from one zone to the other. So I wanna make sure that I'm keeping it real by going over from one spot to the other and not trying to stay in one unrealistic fantasy zone. Right, we're gonna keep going, we're gonna keep exploring. Nice soft spot over here. Let's go in there. There you go, breathe. All right, at this point in the game, Paul's gonna be really exhausted driving, driving this ankle into, into those places, there's no doubt about it. One last pass through. But the reason we're doing this is to make sure that we can get that connection. Good, uncross, let it rest for a second. Okay, get some water again. Just a sip, right? Because this is gonna be a lot of, this is a lot of work trying to get all the way down to the ankle, right? Your brain having to function between all these different places is gonna be pretty challenging. So let's see if we have it now. So bring that leg up, cross it over. It's moving nicely. That's awesome, man. Good, point. Good, go to the left, let's check it. That looks nice, point to the right. Not bad. Bring it up to the left. Bring it to the right. Okay, that's where it's struggling the most. So up and to the right. Up and to the right towards me. Right there, take a deep breath in. Two, ready to push? Push, brother, push, push. Okay, good, I like that signal. Just breathe into it. Push, push your little toe into me. Push your little toe, there you go. Keep pushing, very nice. Three, and guess what's gonna do, this is gonna do for your hip. Release it, push, push a little bit more. Good, and then off towards me. Why is that gonna release your hip? Because this is 360 degrees, there you go, and that's 360 degrees, keep going. So doing some of the work with the ankle sometimes will actually let the hip recover. Two, because the hip can count on this ankle to do the work, and go push. Push one more time. Do you feel the difference now? Do you feel that connection is strong? And we can have a conversation about this, and he's still working. I wanna hear, I wanna feel you working a little harder than that though, man. Come on, I know how hard you work. Look at this place. Look at these amazing people in your barber shop. Keep going, push, let's go. Three, keep pushing. Two, and then off, off, off. Whoa, look at this, look at this. Keep going, keep going. And there's like no knee involved. Keep going. Keep going, there, and bring it back. That's nice. <laughs> okay, let's just check. This feels great, by the way. This feels great. I wanna go back to your original. You okay? Yeah. You sweating? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go back to your original check. I'm gonna bring the knee in. Ooh, that's nice. I bring it down. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna be a dick and I'm gonna do one more with this ankle and then we're good. Cross this leg over. Dude, right? We're not making this shit up, guys. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Okay, let's check the ankle. So make sure the shins rest, the whole ankle's resting good right there. That's fine, yeah. Bring the toes in towards, towards me, up. Good, go over to the left. Good, go to the right. Okay, so right, right struggling a little bit? Yeah. Okay, so let's do that. We're gonna play around with this. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna hold this leg just cause, so you guys can actually see this. Okay, soft spot. <laughs> Sorry, man. Okay. That sucked, I apologize. Okay, toes in, Paul, towards you. 
to whatever direction you want to go into. Good, whatever direction you don't want to go into. There you go. Whatever direction you want to go into. And point, point away from you. Good, then go to the other direction. There, good, draw those boxes now. Draw those boxes. Good, I'm gonna keep exploring that shit. Keep going, let's go. <laughs> Freedom, Freedom, dude, you're letting go. We are letting go, all right? There's no joking around here, we're letting go. There's some nice stuff happening in here, all right? You can see Paul's face, he's working his ass off right now. Well, his ankle technically, but, right? His whole lower body. Good. Guess what's going to feel better after this? Hips are going to be stronger. Lower back is going to chill out. Right? Walking around today will be amazing. Riding your bike today will be amazing. You'll be switching those gears like, like nothing. Like it's nothing. Okay, good. Bring the knee in. I'm going to let it rest on my leg because I'm here. I'm going to do some work. Okay, we're going to fix that spot. Bring it in. Bring your toes in. Good, right there. To the left. Okay, great. We're going to the left and up, up higher. Right there. Two, one, push into me. Push. Nice, man. Push. Keep pushing. Just the ankle. Just the ankle. Right there. And then over to the left, further. Nice. Go. Go. He's letting go, guys. He's letting go. Tension is releasing all the way. I like this spot. I'm going to stay with that spot. Good. All the way over to the left, right there. Two, one, and push into me again. Oh, that's nice. You know how to use an ankle now. Go push and breathe. I want to see that stomach rising. I want to see those teeth. I want to see that jaw relaxing. Push, Paul. Push. Good. Good, man. One more deep breath in and one last push. Push. Good. And then off my hand. Further. 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 Take it there. Just the ankle. Look at the ankle. Big toe. Big toes reaching in there. Good. And then bring it back down. Quick, quick recap. Paul's lower back was a problem. Is a problem, was a problem, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Past tense was a problem. Today, he's addressing it, right? He's getting help from other practitioners, which is amazing, but he's actually doing work elsewhere right now to assist an area that is being released and recovered by another practitioner, which is amazing. Thank you for that practitioner. It's important to have a team of support, a team of support to help you do the job. So. We checked to see what was going on in his lower body. We started with the guts. One side was tough and, and uh, overused, so we went to the other side and released that and, and helped the other side recover. All right? Chow, chow, chow. All right, just deep breathing. Perfect. Then we just checked basic movement. Brought one knee up, all right? So originally it was here, and this leg was having a hard time reaching my hand, so let's bring it up. That's freaking nice. The other leg. Okay. This leg was having a hard time crossing over this side. Let's see how it's crossing over. And reaching further with the knee, right? The knee was reaching nicely, bring it back. Good, this one had, was having a hard time as well. Reaching over, <laughs> you can celebrate it man, it's good. <laughs> the ankle was having a hard time going over to, I forget the right, right? That looks awesome, <laughs> good. This one is gonna have a hard time going to the left or right. I don't have to tell you, but Paul did his job. Guess what's going to work really well for the, not just for today, but the, the next few days. And this is a conscious thing. He's going to be in his body. His body's going to be unconsciously conscious. Like, he doesn't have to think about this stuff right now because he's actually created independence in a codependent body. So there's independence in movement. And now when it comes to bigger movement patterns, that's working, that's working, that's working, this is working. And he can count all that stuff to work with him for the rest of the day. So, no pain. Love. Amazing. Deep breathing, relaxation, soft strength. Not hard strength like, look at me, I'm making noise. No, it's not noise. You're letting noise out of your body. Um, working on movement, checking movement out. And hopefully you keep doing this work. That was amazing. Keep breathing. Thank you so much, man. That was amazing. Black Lamour, respect. Tight trims, loose limbs. We'll see you later. Peace out.